What's up, folks? Some time ago, a flood of news swept through the internet. And the reason? The rapper Gunner. After more than half a year behind bars, he has finally been released. But the voices are getting louder, and many people claim that Gunner testified against Young Thug and YSL, his own crew. I, however, don't quite agree. I believe it's all much more complicated, and I will explain in detail in this video why that is. To fully understand, let's go back to the beginning just for a refresh. On May 11th, 2022, 28 members of Youngston Alive, commonly known as YSL, were arrested. This is actually a music label that was started by the rapper Young Thug, but behind this label lies a suspected gang, which is part of the Bloods in Atlanta. I explained this in a special video back then, feel free to check it out. These 28 members were arrested under the Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, commonly known as RICO. This is a law in America that makes it easier for prosecutors to take action against organized crime groups. Among the 28 accused are Gunna and Young Thug. Young Thug is even referred to as the head of this gang. In recent months, there have been several attempts by the two rappers to get bail. However, they were all denied. That means they have been in custody the entire time since their arrest. But that changed on December 14th, 2022, when Gunna was unexpectedly released. I feel like nobody saw it coming. It really came out of nowhere. So far, so good. The internet briefly went wild because everyone was happy that Gunna was coming home. But it quickly came to light how he managed it. He pleaded guilty to charges of extortion and gang activities in a plea deal. He received a total of five years, one of which he had to serve in prison. This one year has now been credited to him, so he was able to get out earlier. Additionally, Gunna must complete a total of 500 hours of community service. In these hours, he goes to young people, especially African-American youth, and educates them about the consequences and dangers of gangs. Moreover, during his sentence, he is not allowed to carry weapons. But what exactly did Gunna confess in his statement that everyone says he snitched? Let me translate for you what he is supposed to have said. Gunner swore that he knew YSL members committed crimes for the gang, and he has distanced himself from the YSL gang, stating that he belongs to YSL the label, not the gang. I should add though, Gunner is a crip and YSL are actually bloods, so it does match up. He also apologized for his music helping the gang harm the community. What he also said was that YSL as a gang needs to end. But that wasn't all, because Young Thug and Gunna were once pulled over in a car by the police. Here, the patrol found weapons and drugs in the car. And in his confession, Gunna claimed that the drugs and weapons were not his. However, it is also not known how many people were in the car. So Gunna did not point fingers at anyone. A video of this entire hearing was also leaked. I'll insert it here and explain what was being discussed. I became affiliated with YSL around 2016. Is that true as it pertains to you, Mr. Kitchens? Yes, ma'am. YSL is a music label and a game, and you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the game. Yes, ma'am. You were present when law enforcement officers stopped a vehicle in which you were present along with Jeffrey Williams, wherein hydrocodone, methamphetamines, and a firearm were recovered. These items did not belong to you. Yes, ma'am. And do you acknowledge the following statement? I recognize, accept, and deeply regret that my talent and music indirectly furthered YSL the game to the detriment of my community. YSL as a game must end. Is that your statement or acknowledgement? Yes. Yes. So I'll be honest with you folks, these are really serious accusations. Let me summarize them for you. Gunner says that YSL is indeed a gang. He admits that YSL has committed crimes. And he says that the weapons in that car and those drugs didn't belong to him. If Young Thug was the only guy in that car, then it must have been Young Thug. But I suspect there were several people in there because otherwise Gunna would truly be a snitch. And I can really understand why people would say Gunna is a snitch if they don't know all the background and don't understand it. But that's why I'm making this video. I want to enlighten people a bit. However, I want to start by saying I'm not a lawyer. 
I'm just using the information I could find on the internet. And I'm not a street guy from America. That means I don't know the street code there inside and out. I'm just neutrally assessing the facts and presenting them to you. The entire confession was, as mentioned, drafted in a plea deal. A plea deal is an agreement between the prosecutor and the defendant. Here, the defendant can confess to a lesser charge and thus receive a lighter sentence. And Gunna's lawyer has also issued a statement saying that Gunna didn't snitch to get out of jail because this confession cannot be used in court against other defendants. Gunna also released another statement. In this, he clarifies again that he has not made any confession, interrogation, cooperation, or witness statements against other parties. The confession was only related to Gunna and was meant to end his RICO case. Moreover, he expressed his respect and gratitude towards YSL again, saying that he will always love and appreciate his connection with YSL. However, Gunna can still be summoned to court by the prosecutor as a witness. Here, Gunna can pull the fifth, that's the Fifth Amendment, which allows one to completely refuse to testify. Like I said, folks, I'm relying on sources from the internet here. Feel free to add anything in the comments if I've said anything wrong. To me, it all sounds very logical. But it's important that everyone in this group decided that Gunnar should take this plea deal. The sentence of five years is really low for a RICO case. I mean, much harsher penalties are handed out, such as life sentences and so on. And he partly got five years because it's a state RICO case, not a federal RICO case. In a state RICO case, as I understand it, the respective state is responsible and the charges and rules of that state count. Honestly, I couldn't find a clear difference between federal and state RICO cases anywhere. But what I could read everywhere is that a state RICO case is punished much more leniently. The rapper 600 Breezy also tweeted about this because he commented on the whole Gunner situation. And he basically said that what Gunner did isn't snitching. It should also be mentioned that 600 Breezy was a victim of such a state RICO case himself. Of course, not everyone is backing Gunner. There are obviously a few people who are shooting against Gunner and calling him a snitch. And then we have the usual suspects, Boozy, Charleston White, Work 100, and of course 6ix9ine as well. But what I think is much more significant is the YSL Twitter page. They are really supporting Gunner. They posted a picture of Gunner welcoming him back. And they retweeted many tweets from people saying they are glad Gunner is finally home. They also retweeted a tweet saying that Young Thug always has love for Gunner. Yeah, if Gunner had snitched, I don't think they would do that. Because I can imagine that YSL definitely wouldn't stand behind Gunner if he had just testified against Young Thug. I don't know, but it all seems very arranged with YSL to me. Whether you see it as snitching is up to you to decide. Personally, but if this information really holds, Gunner didn't actually testify against YSL, he just made a confession for himself. What's also worth mentioning is that today there was a court hearing for Young Thug. In this, he didn't seem to be in a bad mood. Of course, you can interpret that in several ways. So I'm sure this whole process will definitely have some twists. And so I'm definitely going to be following this very closely. What's your opinion on the whole topic? Did Gunner really snitch or what do you think? Let me know in the comments. I hope you liked the video. On the left, you see a video about the YSL case. I uploaded it when it was brand new. And on the right, you see a video about the case of the rapper K-Zone. Don't forget to rate, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care of yourselves. Ciao.